All living organisms are made up of one or more cells. The cell is the fundamental unit of life. Organisms can even exist as single cells. Here, we see a single-celled organism called an amoeba eating two single-celled specific functions within the cell. A subdiscipline of biology called taxonomy categorizes all life forms into three broad domains of life, archaea, bacteria, and eukarya. The domains archaea and bacteria are made up entirely of prokaryotic organisms. The domain eukarya is made up entirely of eukaryotic organisms. Prokaryotic organisms are made up of prokaryotic cells, whereas eukaryotic organisms are made up of eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells have a membrane-bound nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Eukaryotic cells are larger and more complex than prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells do not have a membrane-bound nucleus and do not have membrane-bound organelles. They are smaller and simpler than eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells have DNA that is within their membrane-bound nucleus. Their DNA is packaged into multiple linear chromosomes. Prokaryotic cells do not have a membrane-bound nucleus but they do contain DNA. Their DNA is packaged into one single circular chromosome. Eukaryotic cells undergo cellular division using a process called mitosis. Mitosis is used in eukaryotes for growth or to replace old, worn out cells. Meiosis is used in eukaryotes to create new, genetically diverse organisms through the process of sexual reproduction. Prokaryotic cells undergo cellular division using the process of binary fission. Binary fission is used for the reproduction of the entire organism. Binary fission creates two daughter cells which are genetic clones of the parent cell. This is a form of asexual reproduction. Prokaryotic organisms include bacteria and bacteria-like organisms. Eukaryotic cells include both plant and animal cells. The nucleolus lies inside of the nucleus of the cell and sometimes appears as a darkened spot inside the nucleus in cell sections treated with a nuclear stain. The function of the nucleolus is to make ribosomes. After the ribosome is made in the nucleolus, it leaves the nucleus. Some ribosomes will end up as free ribosomes that remain unattached in the cytosol. Other ribosomes will attach themselves to the nearby rough endoplasmic reticulum, or rough ER, where they will function as the sites of protein synthesis. Free ribosomes will function to make soluble proteins that will function within the cytosol. Ribosomes that are attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum will make proteins that will become part of the cell membrane or that will be exported out of the cell. The endoplasmic reticulum is a network of tubes and compartments next to the nucleus. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum, the smooth ER and the rough ER. The rough ER appears rough due to the presence of ribosomes. The rough ER functions in the process of assembling proteins. 